Good evening and welcome to the Carter 101 and I'm your host Michael Matthews. Uh, tonight I have a, a nice uh, interesting show for you and special guest, uh, somebody that I've known for quite a while. Um, the guests, my guests, they uh, were born and raised in Newark. Um, they attended uh, Lincoln School, Vellsburg Middle, and Arts High. Um, they also majored in um, visual arts. Uh, my guests, they, they are entertainer in their own right. Um, they're a female impersonator. And guess who they impersonate? Um, is Michael Jackson. Uh, they're the only female impersonator, I believe, in the state of New Jersey. And that person is Dominique Wilson. Good evening, Dominique Wilson. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, so you went to Arts High. Yes, I did. Uh, <laughs> and you majored in visual arts and everything. Yeah. How was it going to Arts High? It was actually pretty fun, you know. I was um, basically did a lot of artwork and um, painting, photography, which is like my other passion. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of drawing, different things, uh -huh. and it was a good environment. It was a very small class setting. It was fun, uh -huh. actually. <laughs> uh, okay, yes, and um, I also noticed when you when you sent me your bio, mm -hmm. you, you sent a lot of information. I was like, <laughs> oh, I don't know how much I could put in all this. Um, <laughs> Attending uh, Vellsburg Middle and all. You also volunteer at the Freedom Ministry Church. Yes, on and South Orange Avenue. Okay. Mm -hmm. What what you, what you do when you when you're there? How often do you volunteer there? Um, well, they have services um, Wednesdays and Saturdays, and mm -hmm. after service, what they do is they give out bags of food to you know people who you know don't have you know the money or things like that to go shopping. So we give them food. We donate clothes. Um, even during like the winter time, we give out turkeys for Thanksgiving, um, give out chickens oh, and okay. different things for them to eat. Right. It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also, the, so being in the community, of the, the Vellsburg section of mm -hmm. Newark, uh, you're, um, you're also a member of the um, Smith Street Block Association. Yes. And did I think, did I, I don't know, I may have mis misread it when you said uh, the Block Association. You're you have a, a title there. Secretary. The secretary. That's right. That's <laughs> what I wanted to make sure I had. Secretary. I got right there. Now, your, ma your major in um, uh, visual arts, was that in Arts High or was that? That was in Arts High. Okay. Um, I graduated from Montclair State in 2007. Montclair. I was a geography environmental studies major. Oh, oh the geography. complete opposite. Oh, the whole opposite <laughs> I just of love science too. <laughs> <laughs> the whole opposite of anything else. All right, now, coming to, you know, the number of, of um, what are some other the, um, activities or organizations that you belong to? Well, I, um, I'm part of the West Ward Collective, which we do things in the West Ward with mm -hmm. Councilman Rice. Uh, you know, I do a lot of things with I work at Gibraltar Bank. I'm a bank teller full time. Uh, I do a lot of things with the computers. Like I'm a part of the, um, actually I'm the president of the Michael Jackson Fan Club of North New Jersey. Oh, We've okay. done the breast cancer walk. We've donated to the Goodwill. Next month we'll be donating to the YMCA North mm -hmm. for the uh, emergency residence program. And we'll also be doing the AIDS walk in New York in May. And then there's plenty more. Oh, plenty, <laughs> plenty more. Uh, yeah. Now, <laughs> I hope I, I hope I said it right. You are the only female. Well, not in, the no. in the city of Newark. In, in the city of Newark, <laughs> but not in the state. I thought, I thought it was in the state. No, so. it's no problem. So I gave you, so I gave you I'm more. the first female impersonator of Newark. So. Oh, okay. That, yeah, that's great. That, a that's a good title to hold. Mm -hmm. um, um, so what made you uh, go to impersonate Michael Jackson or... Well, I've always been a huge fan of Michael ever since, oh gosh, the Jackson 5 and Moonwalker and the Wiz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just felt as though I needed to continue his legacy, basically, because mm -hmm. I always liked to dance. I did the moonwalk all the time. I learned Thriller, basically, because I didn't want to be afraid of the video. So okay. I was like, okay, I have to figure out a way to get over this. <laughs> 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 so I've always been doing this and then I've also just felt I just needed to spread love this way you know okay. a lot of people love to see it <laughs> yeah that's good um, what is the um, what uh, what age did you start with the starting to do the, the actual the, yeah. 
impersonation. Yeah, the actual impersonation. Started back in '09, actually dressing as Michael, but um, dancing. I was like, I'm no younger than six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> just around the house with socks on, thinking I'm moonwalking. <laughs> <laughs> so when you do the impersonation, you're just doing the dances to the music. Right. I don't know no singing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to I do know, that high right. voice. <laughs> it's kind of hard. It's a lot of movement, hard yeah. to breathe and dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so is there any other any other artists besides Michael Jackson that you? that have inspired you to like look and say okay I, I'm gonna try to copy this person with their well, dance <laughs> actually that's kind of funny because I'm actually trying to do more of like an 80s Janet now Janet mm -hmm. Jackson so mm -hmm. you know like when she did Rhythm Nation mm -hmm. Escapade and different songs from that era um, I don't really thought of anybody else but um, people have asked me that question it's like have you ever thought of Prince I'm like well, Prince, he doesn't really nah, dance as much as... Nah, he dance in them hills. Yeah, Prince, <laughs> say, I don't think he dances as much as nah, Michael. Nah, he does a lot of Michael splits, does. though. The only person that, I, that I've that i seen so far that yeah. comes even close to a Michael Jackson type of, is Usher, I think, is the closest. I, yeah, I think it's nah, probably I can't the only do one. Usher. Uh, yeah, yeah, Usher. I think he's he the only the one that does... He works a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even though Michael does it, but he wears, you know... Uh, how hard how hard was it to uh, learn to do the moonwalk? Uh, it took a while. It took some time. It's all basically technique in the ankles and the feet. Mm -hmm. It's a, basically the way you place it, you know, your feet on. It's It took a while. It wasn't that easy at first. Because, you know, you could do it on a smooth surface at first with socks on. You'd be like, oh, okay, I'm sliding. But right. then you've got to actually learn that technique where your feet just glide. And it's... Oh, but I can basically do it on any surface now. Oh, it doesn't good. bother me. <laughs> <laughs> that's real good. <laughs> um, the other thing is, um, in the city, in the city of Newark, now, mm -hmm. um, you performed in Newark of a couple of times. Uh -huh. All right, and I also know that you put in the bio that Newark, uh, they, uh, the Newark City Council, mm -hmm. uh, awarded uh, me a resolution. Yeah, awarded you a resolution. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, how, how did that feel when you... It felt good because it was actually unexpected. I was doing a performance for the One Ward, One Family dinner. They had one Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um, well, it was in November, but it was for Thanksgiving. And they asked me to just, you know, hey, you want to perform? I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. It's right in my area. I can walk there. It's close. And then they just awarded me, and they said, Dominique Mikeette Wilson, you know, for outstanding commitment to the West Ward. And I was like, wow. <laughs> My first award with that name on it. It just felt really special, and it's from the city. Mm -hmm. They said I was the, officially the first female Michael impersonator. In the city. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. um, in the, um, and during, in the, during the time of doing Michael Jackson, and you said you did it throughout New Jersey? Mm -hmm. throughout the, Name some of the places you went. Oh, like. wow. Um, Cranford, Metuchen, um, West Orange, a few other places. Um, it was for the street fairs. Oh, I was traveling with, you know, doing different street fairs. Oh, my gosh. It was a lot. Oh, I think another one was Milburn and South Orange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I did a few things in New York as well. Oh, uh, but how did every everybody? Um, oh, they loved it. Uh, they, 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 <laughs> they, yeah, the kids couldn't wait for me to finish. People couldn't wait. They was like, "Oh, we got to take pictures. Can you have your autograph?" I felt so special. <laughs> <laughs> People yeah. recording. I was like, "Okay, I can't fall." <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> Met so many people. <laughs> that's, that's a little lot of memories for that. Mm -hmm. um, also, with the um, the performing and all all the places that you've been, um, when you perform out there, um, do you just before you perform? How do you how do you feel? Nervous, Nervous. every time. What I do is I have like my little moment where I'm just to myself, quiet, and just pray basically, and. Mm -hmm. And then I feel a little better. <laughs> oh, okay. Once the music starts, I get into character. But until then, I'm just nervous. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And um, I was also reading in your um, your bio that you sent 
that you you actually went to Gary, Indiana. Yes. To perform. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was the longest bus ride. I, it was actually a spontaneous idea from one of my friends that live in New York. She's like a great MJ fan as well. And she's like, oh, let's go to Gary, Indiana. The family's supposed to be there. I'm like, oh, yeah, cool, no problem. You know, we'll hang around the house because I never got to see his childhood house before. She's been there. I was like, oh, I'll get to see the house and, you know, hopefully meet some family members there. Mm -hmm. And I did. I got to meet his kids, and um, they were really lovely. <laughs> but um, I just went online, and my friend, my other friend, he impersonates. He's like, oh, fill out the application to see if you can get a chance to perform. I said, sure, why not? I mean, I could just, you know, send them a couple of pictures because my videos wouldn't go through. And I'm like, mm. I might not get it. You know, I might not get picked. I'm like, it's, it's okay. I'm going to still be there anyway. And I ended up getting picked. So I got to perform there as well. So I was happy. Yeah. <laughs> I was the only female to perform yeah. as Michael, oh. too. <laughs> and how hard the crowd? Oh, the, oh, they loved it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> was any other, any other, I mean, you know, you did say that the, the kids were there. How did they, how did they? Oh, my goodness. The oldest son, Prince Michael, he just could not let my hand go. And he just... Because there was a few other people there. It was like a whole lot of people. And he was just looking at me like, ah, really nice. And the youngest one, Blinky, he looked so, like, squinting at me. I'm like, hey, you know, he's <laughs> like, hey. And he smirked a little bit because he really doesn't show too much emotion in Paris. Uh -huh. She just was like, hey, you know, <laughs> gave me this big old hug. It was just beautiful. <laughs> uh, none of the other family members were there. Um, well, Latoya was there. I didn't get to see her. And his mom was there. Mama Catherine was there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't get a chance to see her. Oh, uh, okay. She was mainly behind the scenes. It was really hot that day. It was just a lot going on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she just still kind of, you know, still mourning her son, so. So that bus ride was oh, going was? Four hours, it seemed like, because we had to make layovers oh, and different okay. stops. But it was on Greyhound, and it was a long ride there, and definitely a long ride back. I never realized how big Pennsylvania is until you have to travel <laughs> <laughs> yeah. through it and keep it going. A, it, is a, it is a long ride. I had to go through that one time. Yeah. I'm um, going. Um, <laughs> doing the um, performances, um, now, you have various of uh, the Michael Jackson uh, jackets. Yes. I know you, you came here and you said, okay, I, I'm going to do that. Because I asked you, I said, which one you, which one you wanted to do? And you said, you got the Thriller <laughs> and uh, Billie Jean, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so you had the Thriller. Do you have the, well, let me see, which one is that? The one with the, the all the zippers? Beat it, yes. I have yeah. it. I was going to do that today, too. And I was like, no, no. I changed my mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. It looks better with a group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a, 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 a moment. We're going to. Stop, and we're going to give um, Dominique the opportunity to do Thriller, and as well, she's going to do Billie Jean. So we're going to get everything ready for her to do um, Billie Jean. So let's get ready, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. let's get ready.